Oh, thank goodness. We made it. There it is. The kingdom of Vastervorn. <sighs> yes. We're finally here. And... Oy vey. We have guards over the bridge. Typical. Ah, ah, ah. Don't worry. I know how to talk to them. <coughs> Good day, gentlemen. I need entry into Vastervorn. Excuse me? Do I have a permission letter? <laughs> Since when does Vastervorn shy away souls who wish to enter? <laughs> New management, huh? breath. Well, listen very clearly. I am from the neighboring kingdom of Kemdamor. I have come under no banner but my own. I'm here to spread the word that Prince Gregory has usurped that kingdom and has slain the remaining royal house. <sighs> yes, me and my compatriot need shelter and rest, and so does our horse, as you can see. So, I'm not asking to enter Vastervorn. I demand entry. So, are we going to stand here all day, or let's just get this show on the road? Thank you. Okay. Well, that was easier said than done. Let's just get into the village and just blend in. Wow, everything's so quiet. Everybody's off doing their own routine. Hmm? No, I, I, I'm just thinking out loud. It's just everyone's so at peace. That's what I thought I would have. And, and I have now no idea what my brother is doing. And... This is a bad omen for this kingdom. Well, until we speak to someone else in charge, all we can do is just get ourselves together. Uh, are you okay? You look, you look a little flushed. What's wrong? Oh my goodness, your rib is purple and oh no we yes I remember the fight in the woods with those vandals ah uh, why didn't you say anything uh, okay okay don't don't panic don't panic okay just just take it slow um, walk next to the horse there is someone here that can help us and she'll know what to do she's a healer, as they say. Okay, there's her house. All right, hope she's not crazy. Hello? Mother Thuv Lily? Are you there? It's really quiet. Maybe she's not... I heard you, I heard you. Come on in, come in. Don't be shy. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, so she is alive. <laughs> All right, let's just go in there. Fingers crossed. Well, two young souls in my store. Should I be intrigued or cautious? <laughs> my name is Mother Thuv Lily. I'm the apothecary of Vastavorn. Or an old hag with no friends. <laughs> to whom do I have the pleasure of greeting me in my little store? <clears throat> well, uh, hello, ma'am. My name is... Honey, I already know your name. H how? And why even go through the bother of even us introducing ourselves? Ah, come on, silly girl. Can an old hag have some fun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get many visitors. And besides, I want to see if young people still care enough to introduce themselves. You know how 
the young are these days. <laughs> but I'm flattered. I, uh, um, um, yes. Uh, Ma'am, my friend needs first aid. Ah, shh, shh, shh. You're here. You're fine. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, yes. Well, my sweet, your friend has two broken ribs. The lucky it hasn't damaged anything further. Well, not by choice, actually. Mm. We've been trying to survive out there. It hasn't been easy for us. Yes, well, nothing is easy, my darling. If only I could be as young as you two were. I remember back in my day, the world seemed a little bit different. But there was still war and famine and disease and whatever. Uh, I, I'm rambling. Anyway, I can help your friend. Oh, okay. Well, um, how much gold do you want? Uh, bite your tongue, child. I don't want your gold, honey. When you have lived as long. As I have. Material things don't matter. Okay, so, ma'am, how, how do I pay you back? Child, I need you to deliver a message to the king's librarian. They will know I sent you, and it'll be the best chance you have to aid your quest. If you do this, then our payment is paid in full. That's it? No strings attached? Uh, do you think I wanted blood? Or toadstools? Flesh? I know what you and your friend need to do. So, I will do my part. Now, let's get your friend cleaned up. I have some medicines. The two of you can stay the night. But after, you'll have to go. Thank you, miss. Well, are you feeling better? Well, you don't look so pale. Seems like that lady knew what she was doing, and I'm grateful that she allowed us to stay for a little bit. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. I'm sure you are, too. I have to say, I was... I was pretty scared. Um, you know, thinking that you could have... Um, I don't want to say. I'm just... I'm just glad you're in a better position. We have a long day tomorrow and uh, uh, I won't take this lady's uh, patience for granted. Um, so get some rest. I'm gonna sleep on another bedroll. So uh, good night, my friend.